Hello, this is Gio, and today I will be installing some new memory chips or RAM onto my older computer here. This is an older Sony uh, all-in-one computer. It doesn't have a tower. It's basically the computer's um, combined with the monitor, and but it, it's several years old. I do have another computer that I currently use, but I, I also want to upgrade this old one, give it a little more performance. Currently it has two gigabytes of RAM in two chips and I want to upgrade it to four gigabytes total. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first step is just to see how much RAM I currently have in this computer. And again this is an old Vista based uh, Windows software. So I just go to the um, startup menu, go to control panel, and then uh, open it up and look for an icon named Systems. And here it is right here. So I double click that and that comes up and shows a whole bunch of information. But it also shows under System, it shows Memory, RAM, R-A-M, 2.00 gigabytes. And that's how I know how much RAM is on this computer. Now the types of chips that you want to purchase, there's all sorts of types of chips um, for different computers for um, desktop towers, for all-in-ones, for laptops. So you want to either do your background research and go online and find which chips you need or even open up your computer and see uh, physically what kind of chips you need. I've already done my research and I realize I need uh, PC2-5300 chips and uh, so I purchased these and these do fit into this computer. And one of the one of the confusions is I bought this is package for four gigabytes, but it also says two times two gigabytes. That says it has two chips. Each chip is two gigabytes each. Uh, so when you purchase uh, some computers only work on one chip, so you would only replace one uh, chipboard, uh, but this one requires replacement of two. And so when you purchase it, don't get confused. The four gigabytes does not mean four gigabytes per chipboard. It means there's two boards here, each capable of two gigabytes. So uh, do your homework before you uh, um, purchase this. These, these could be spendy, so do your homework. So the first thing you want to do is just unplug it to make sure that there's no power. And again, this is an all-in-one computer. It just It's basically like a monitor, except the computer portion is not on a tower, but right back here. Very similar to laptops, and in, in uh, many ways, uh, um, the insides have very, very similar components as a laptop computer. And for, for purposes of changing out mem uh, the memory, the RAM, uh, it's very similar. They have very similar compartments and very similar chips. So uh, you could look at this instructional video, and um, it should help you with uh, with your laptop as well. So the first thing is for this computer I just have to pull off the back and this is just a plastic case and then this is kind of what the back looks like and this is the power supply so I want to unplug the power supply so pull that out and I also uh, want to kind of turn it on to make sure everything's discharged. This is the on button, so I hit that. And if this was a laptop, what you'd be doing would be pulling, physically pulling out the battery and then turning on the computer as well to discharge all the energy. So I did that. And next, I just look in the back. And the only compartment that I can really unscrew is this small little one right here that's really obvious on a laptop as well. You, you go underneath it and there'll be one compartment you can unscrew and that's typically where the uh, the, the RAM uh, lies. So I just take a screwdriver here unscrew the one screw and then pop it out and there you go. That's where the memory is. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. And there you go. And uh, as you can see, they're very similar. This is those RAM chipboards. And it's basically very similar to what I purchased here. And how you take these out, and again, it's very similar to a laptop, 
is you have these these little levers, l liver arms here. So you want to take two hands and just go on either side of these little liver arms and kind of push this way, opposite from each other, and it should just pop out. There you go. And it kind of comes out. It's on a little spring, probably at a 30 or 35 degree angle. It'll pop out, and then just carefully. You just want to work it out, and that's what it looks like. Now, if you uh, carefully look, you'll see there's a notch on, on uh, one side, and that kind of shows you which way it goes. If it was reversed, like that, you wouldn't be able to get this chip in. So there's no risk of putting it in the wrong way, because physically it will not go in. So I'll put this aside, and same here, it's a two... two uh, chip or two chip system so I have to replace the other ones together. When there's two two RAM uh, chip boards you have to replace them both together. You, you really want them to be similar chips. And so let's uh, open up the package and uh, put the new ones in. Okay so just like the old ones came in here are the new ones. Brand new chipboards and again you want to stick them in kind of at an angle similar to how they popped out probably about 30 35 degrees so you just make sure the slots in the correct position and I'm installing the back one first and then you just kind of just with finger pressure kind of stick it in not too tough and then just kind of push it back into your click and there you go it's in so as long as it's not um, you know lean forward it should be properly secure. And now the second chip uh, in front, you just put it in. Try not to touch all the metal parts, just kind of do it by the sides. Kind of put apply a little bit of pressure and then just pop back in and both are secure. And so now I'm just going to secure the case and turn around to see, make sure my uh, new memory is being read properly. So I went ahead and plugged back in the computer. I go back to uh, uh, the startup menu, control panel, and back to system. There's really no reason uh, for your computer not to read the chips right away. You don't really need any special software. It should just do it automatically. And so I'm just double checking by clicking system. And here, memory, RAM, 4.00 gigabytes. So it was successful. It's reading it properly and so uh, the, the computer should be a little bit faster anyway for an old computer so I'll see you next time good luck on your project